the bitch got updated a while ago and it, ha- it changed how to play it and get good at it. So today I talk about some tips on getting good at the bridge. But before I get started, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Now, let's get started. The bridge has 8 maps including the original map and changes on the way you win because of these new maps. So let's start off the first tip. Play duos. I fully recommend playing this mode that gives an opportunity to get a teammate and you can invite a friend with you to play with you and it's great for leveling up. If you are good PvP and kill them, you'll be getting some good XP from those kills. But also the more great thing about duos is if your teammate gets a point, although they will level up for that, but you'll also get 5 XP. So it's really good advantage, although you can play solos, but I recommend playing duos. Here's the second tip. Know your other team's special item. So as you know, you get three different items to pick before you start, which is Golden Apples, Snowballs, and Leap. The first round, just stay at your base for a minute so you can figure out what item your team has. If they have a Leap, let them leap to your base and try to kill them with sword or knock them off with some snowballs. It's just a really good advantage of knowing. Another tip is change your item. With these new maps, they get different ranges for other items. So, for example, in Cubic Arches, you can use Leap and just about get straight to the goal from the Leap with all the class and maps as well. Most likely, you want to use Leap most of the time, but try to use something else. I'll usually use Snowballs or Leap, maybe try testing every map and see which item is best for each map. Another good tip is try bugging up your goal. This is a great advantage, especially in City Overhead, because that map has two ways to get to the goal. You can go through the top straight to it you can pretty much block off the entrance and do it if you're playing with a friend definitely want to communicate with them tell them to buck it out quickly i don't do that because i don't have friends to play with <laughs> another tip is take advantage of your block the already get a stack of blocks every round and when you spawn you get a stack you can do whatever you like with it as i said with the previous tip you use them to block off your goal bridge over or whatever i think it's important to use them instead of not using them your bonus tip is try using your bow, although you only get one arrow, if you do it right, you can either knock them off or take some damage if you're not the best, like me when it comes to motion practice with aim and you'll get, if it doesn't work, just spin so balls at them. And don't expect these tips to make you think you're going to win your original game, since I use these tips myself and I don't win every time, since I'm not the best PvP guy. But as you play, you're practicing as I encourage you to practice a lot, like maybe invite your friends to play and can be a way of practice. There are lots of ways people play can make your you lose. So that's why I mention this. If this video helped you out, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe more videos as next video I'll be posting is a video on how to get good at vlog drop. Anyways have a great day and I'll see you next time. Oh wow Wow, seven projects. Wow. 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 It's gonna be our honeymoon. Wow! <laughs> wow! Yeah! Wow. Right? Yeah. Great. Thanks. Amazing. Let's get a shoe shine.